So my mic wasn't working. And well, it showed. So I think I filmed maybe 20 minutes of me talking and working. <laughs> and I was not recording my voice because I didn't turn it on. So now uh, I'm going to do a voiceover in some sections. And then uh, from there, it'll be me talking on the camera. But yeah, it's a good lesson. Happens when you're uh, using all wireless mic and you forget to turn everything on make sure it's all running correctly it's probably gonna happen again but uh yeah now let's get uh back to uh video for the time being your boy started this video off with his sound off <laughs> so i'm not gonna restart this video i'm not gonna restart everything i just did but i'll go over what i did today so today I'm doing a 404 parts it is a stock GM rich, uh, wireless charging center console. It's a big center console, right? With the wireless, with the wireless charging, and we're installing that today. And right now, I am getting to the cigarette lighter. So the cigarette lighter portion, I'll show you guys right now, which. I'm glad I was recording this part because then I saw where the sound was. So, this portion right here is what I need to get to. The guy said, plug into the cigarette lighter. I said, okay, uh, but I don't want to use the front one because I have my dash cam hooked up to it. So, I want to use the back one. And we're going to try to see if I could use the back one. If not, then I'm going to have to use the front one and then charge my dash cam to this one somehow. So, we're going to have to figure all that out. But all good because this was easy to pull off pretty simple to take this part off you had to, i just pulled the bottom up a little bit stuck my pry tool pop that clip off pop this clip off went to the other side pretty simple came off and on now let's take you over to the center console pretty simple those have one two three four five and six clips that go in they won't break unless you really struggle to pull them off, but it's about it. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips on it. And I'm sure you could break those if you really struggle with this thing and pull hard enough. Um, but all I did was use my pry tool and just got under here and flipped it up and popped the front two off and then the side two came off and then from there you get it. Um, Hopefully I don't have to dig into here. If not, I'm gonna have to pull all this out, pull this out, pull all this stuff out again, just to dig in and get to that cigarette lighter. But that one I don't wanna to get to, remember, because my dash cam's hooked up right in there. So I don't wanna use that one just yet. I wanna to try to use this one, the one in the back, because I don't have a lot of people back here, for one. Um, for two, put you guys in that spot so for one i don't have passengers too often in the back so i'm not too worried about people in the back charging off of 12 volt and if i ever have to use a 12 volt i'll just pull the dash cam out and put something in there in a pinch if i need to so um and if i did need i could reconnect it yeah yeah you guys get the you guys get it so and i always carry my pry tool so i can do that on a go if i need to but for now i got two usbs in the back so two people can use it um so i should be good i'm gonna try to connect to that see if it works trial and error right always trial and error um i just gotta figure out how to get the back off now because it looks like i can pull these out easier the USB portions. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, the USBs are out, makes it a little bit easier to maneuver around here. I'm trying to figure out this clip back here with the cigarette portion. Do I need to pull the clip? So there's a blue clip on here. I don't know if I need to slide that out. 
or pinch it in and pull the mechanism out. The one thing I don't want to do is break anything. Aha, I got it. All right, cool. So now that that's off, he said to, oh, um, let's see those connectors. So the connectors that I got to play with and try to figure out how to work them all are these two right here. These two connectors right here. So these two are the ones I need to use and try to figure out. So I'm gonna take you guys back there with me. Hopefully we can figure this out together. And uh, maybe make some sense out of all this. So. There. So this is the cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter was in there. So cigarette lighter right here. Boom, all right? This one in there. Uh, what it looks like I could do. Huh. Interesting. I may... Oh, cool, okay. So maybe the this one goes into here. It's funny, it's because I asked the dealership if they could do this. <laughs> and probably the wrong idea. Oh my goodness, this is so simple, guys. This is gonna work real fast. I didn't know how fast this video was gonna be. <sighs> wow, that might work. Let's cross our fingers and hope so. I'm just for now, for the sake of it, gonna plug it back into this portion here. It's gonna turn the vehicle on with this plugged in and see if it works. Now, if it works, this is gonna be the fastest video and I'm gonna feel really dumb. Because what's cool So what's cool about this is I can still use the 12 volt. Whoever designed this, super smart. I gotta give it to you, 404 parts. I don't think this was your guys's, maybe it was. I don't know about the wiring harness. Maybe it was your guys's thing, but plugging it into the 12 volt cigarette lighter and then those two connections, so simple. I don't know why I didn't think of it before, but I'm really dumb. Now, I would connect it to the very front, but that's a pain in the butt to get to. And that video could be a whole hour of a video <laughs> or a 20 minute video. I mean, we could do that. What the hell, I'll take apart the whole center console. I'll make it look clean. So first option, if we're going to use the back side, we're going to use the passenger side. Let's see if that works, if that can get enough juice to charge this thing. And if it works, you, I mean, that'd be the first option. Oh man, I'm going to be super stoked if this works. You don't even know guys, it's... I took apart this center console a while back and I was looking for connections at the bottom of the center console. I couldn't find any. I was like, oh man, I wonder what this connects to. I messaged them. They didn't message me for a while. Then I came back. They messaged me right away. Which is cool. Thank you guys for messaging me right away. And they messaged me instructions. Uh, they texted me instructions how to do it or just tell me, hey, it goes in the back of your cigarette lighter. <laughs> I was like, all right, easy enough, you know? So, turned on the truck. Oh, I gotta take my case off the stupid phone because it doesn't fit with the case on there. iPhones, right?
it works oh my gosh it works and you guys can choose pick and choose because you do have the option to use the back one and the front one so man now i don't know it's so simple i could just leave it there guys i am Because if I ever had to change it out, right, or do something different, you know what, I'm leaving it in the back because I don't want to blow any fuses. And if I ever do, it's easier to get to instead of up in the front. In the front, I don't know if it's going to blow a fuse because I'm using the dash cam. So I'm going to leave it in the back. The back's where it's staying. To see any other way, take apart the center console, you guys can watch that. But... It does work if you want to get this part it's a 404 part or sorry go to 404.com 404parts.com excuse me so 404parts.com they sell an oem wireless charger with the q2 i believe it is the new the new charging uh part for the the hot pad or the wireless part down below uh they sell that the new one with the OEM insert and it's fairly simple guys I've been looking on YouTube for this for the how to put it in couldn't find it so I'm making the video it's super simple if you want to go the route I did and just pry the backing off for the the passenger sides in the back and plug it in there and that cigarette lighter that 12 volt it works I don't know how long it's gonna work for but it does work I just showed you guys right now and it's two plugs, and I'll show you the plugs right now again. Um, fairly simple. I just now need to find a new phone case that will fit this stupid charging part. And so I don't have to take my phone case off and on every time. So the two wires that this main harness it comes with right here, and then these this wire you plug in like the cigarette lighter Make sure nothing's burning back here. And then this wire is the next wire going into the cigarette lighter, part of the harness. So I don't know if that's a 404 harness part or if it's a GM harness part, but whoever made it, I believe smart. It might be a 404 part. Smart though, really smart. Um, but I'm gonna figure a way out how to make it look nicer. So it's not just so clumped up in there. I might just shove those back in there where it looks better. But we're gonna figure a way out right now. So this will drop the harness down in here. Plug this portion in there. So now that it's just a little cleaner, don't have too much going on. Oh. So I'll show you guys right now what I did. So <laughs> overheating, cool. Turn it off in a little bit. But what I did was here's my fuse, here's my harness. My harness goes underneath, down through here. And then up, there it is. That's going to plug into the wireless part. The other portion I pulled in right through here and plugged it in with the harness, existing harness that's taped to this. Plug that in. Um, and then I'm going to plug in the last part, which is right here. So coming out from the back of there into the cigarette lighter. Uh, but it has a USB. The new one does have the existing new USB in it. It just doesn't come with the USB part. Um, so I'm going to pull this out. I'll show you guys real quick how to pull that out. So you guys can see right here, here it is. It has one black pinch clip and another one down here. So all you got to do is, and you got to push this forward. So it goes out through the inside. You can't pull out towards us this way. It has to go down. So you got to pinch and push. I need two hands to do this, so maybe I could do it with one. Nope, did it with one. Perfect. So pinch and push down, and it slides right on out. 
don't put that in so don't put this in quite yet um, make sure you have your wire pulled out so you can plug the bottom of you can plug this bottom part back in and then slide it back in the hole so and make sure you grab your USB cable so I got mine right here right now I'm just gonna put it off to the side kind of let it sit there and then I'm gonna put that right back in so you guys can kind of see the inside of this nothing special nothing too crazy but I'm gonna button it all up and then show you the end result you got the USB portion I'm holding it right now sliding this down um, actually what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna connect the wireless part first get that installed because this is a longer cable so I don't have to worry too much about it just gotta figure out which way it goes in oh there we go boom it's in secured awesome and then I'm gonna pull the USB cable from the center console We'll pull that up hold on do it slide in the box itself while also making sure the wireless charging cable is down in there uh, I'm not gonna snap everything in just quite yet I'm gonna take this though while I have the cable in my hand and connect it perfect and then I can slide that thing bad boy right on in there perfect it only goes in one way so um, <laughs> you can't mess that up even the whole unit that pops in clips in there goes in one way so now I'm just gonna push everything down Make sure it's all clipped in. Give it a little tap. Just make sure everything's down. Huh. That part seems to not really want to look flush, but that's okay. Oh, my battery's overheating again. Awesome. Let's plug in the autocast boom it's working awesome um phone connects to it wirelessly which is perfect so i got this and then i got the wireless setup for the charging Let's see if that works Boom, it works. Awesome. I'll show you guys right now. So, Apple CarPlay. It's wirelessly charging. Oh, man. So, I got this for my wireless. It's a Bluetooth. It runs to my phone. Now, I got the wireless charging. I could even show you the wireless part. Boom, I got Apple CarPlay right away. It's really quick. The only time it takes really long to, for it to load is when you bet it brand new. It has to update itself. And uh, it's really cool. It just That's the only time it takes really long is when it sets itself up the first time in your car. Besides that, it's on there pretty quick. Watch, it shut the car off. Boom, it's off. There it is. Turn the truck on. My links, boom, right away it pops up. Spotify loads pretty fast. Boom can play really quick. A little Dylan Scott, but yeah, so it's pretty quick. Um, so yeah, that's the auto autocast wireless charging. So two things that I got going is now the wireless charger for my truck. Boom, plugged and play, easy. Plugs right into the cigarette outlet. And then the autocast, that's a wireless charge or wireless player. Connects to my phone, connects straight to my Apple CarPlay. Um, if you have Apple CarPlay, it works real well. Um, 
I like it. I enjoyed it. I have any issues with it. So if you guys enjoyed, uh, that was real quick and simple. I'm glad I figured it out real fast. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, some more things come into the truck that are useful and needed. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. Peace out. See y'all later.